Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The name of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew, James the son of Zebedee and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanian and Judas Iscariot who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. The book Genesis is so interesting. When you start reading, it takes you close to God. We feel how powerful our Father who created everything for us. The Genesis first chapter says, In the beginning, in the beginning, the Spirit of the Lord was moving around. The Spirit of the Lord was existing. Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end of God's Spirit was existing and moving. That means there was life. He wanted to give that life, the fullness of life, wanted to create a new life on earth and that spirit did everything even that spirit was walking with our first parents in their innocence there was joy there was peace no illness no fear only there was holiness prevailing all that they felt was they wanted to be like that forever you know the story what had happened afterwards the first parents did not listen to the voice of the holy spirit they could not they were not listening carefully they were not discerning they lacked discernment to understand the commandment of God given to them. What was their commandment? Obey. Obey and follow me. Obey and listen to me. Obey and feel me. Obey and have me. They dis did not discern to the voice of the Holy Spirit. That's why they lost that status. And you know, in the history of salvation, the Holy Spirit was always working, always moving, always guiding, always shepherding, 
always motivating and molding and tuning the people of God. Abraham, in his old age, with his wife Sarah, he was just waiting, waiting for the blessing of the Lord. When the three angels appeared before Abraham, he had that discernment. He had the discernment to welcome them. Because he welcomed them, he had that blessing. The blessing of new generation. The blessing of a new child coming into the world. Through that one child, God said, I am going to multiply like the stars and the sands, your generation. Sarah did not have the discernment. She laughed. But Abraham had the discernment to accept the promise. But Sarah laughed. Anyhow, the story goes on. When Moses... When he was in the kingly palace, in the Pharaoh's palace, he too had the discernment. He felt the voice of God, so he goes to save his brother. And then, in the wilderness, he heard the voice of God. He heard the voice of God calling, Moses, Moses. So he listened to the voice of God. When we read the Bible, all the prophets, all the prophets, they had that discernment. They listened to the voice of God all the time. Because of that, the Spirit was moving them in the right direction. All the time, the Spirit moved them in the right direction. Noah, he listened to the voice of God. They have never seen rain coming at that time. And God asked him to build a huge ark, the boat. He was listening to the voice of God. That is called discernment. The story of Joseph today we read. Very interesting story. As a small boy, he used to work with his brothers in the field. One day he had a very peculiar dream. That means the dream says to him something that you have to be a leader. And all his brothers has to surrender and obey and follow him. That is the discernment he got through his dream. When he became the governor in Egypt, he said to himself, Yes, since I believed the dream, when I had the discernment to understand the dream, today I could save the people. The Pharaoh says, Don't come to me. Go to Joseph. He is the one who told me, this particular time, the people will be coming to you. This particular time, the people will be undergoing the all kind of problems. Lack of rain. There won't be food anywhere. So we need to store in advance discernment. Because of that, he could save all the people, including his own family. Then we come here. Joseph, God sent Father to Jesus in his dream. He is listening. The angel of the Lord is telling Joseph, don't be disturbed. Don't be afraid. You know, Joseph, Mary is conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. 